we've got another Motorhome. Aldi Auto Quest 155. Well, it was an Auto Quest 155. It is actually a signature 155. So it's the posher version of the Auto Quest. And what we have, we have two bench seats, which will make into a double bed, which I'll show you, so we can sleep two. And at the back here, we have a double bed, which will sleep two. So it's a four berth. So, is it a four berth with two belted seats? No, it's not. It's actually a four berth with four belted seats. And I'll show you the other two belted seats a little bit later. So, we've got a bench seats that we can make into two belted seats, which is perfect. So it's a great couples van. Um, ideally, to give you the option as well in the future to take away the grandkids because you've got the extra two belted seats. So, let's go have a look outside and have a look at this gorgeous looking signature. Right, so this van's three and a half thousand kilograms, so normal license will do, and it's just a tad over seven meters long. So if you're enjoying the videos, don't forget to subscribe to us, and if you enjoyed um, this van, don't forget to hit the like button. So let's have a look on the outside. Great graphics, so it's not just white. Um, we've got the window at the back, and then I'll just show you here. We have our storage underneath the fixed bed. And what I'll do when we get inside, I'll show you all the different workings there. Next to that, we have the gas locker. Ideal for two gas bottles, perfect size. So you can keep your spare. And then we have, do have the alloy wheels. And then as we move on then, we haven't got a white cab. We've got a gorgeous, I don't know what colour you'd say that is. Blue, bluish, marine blue, cloudy blue, sky blue, whatever blue you want. And then we have the great looking cab. I really like the new cabs on the Peugeots and on the Fiat's as well. So before we carry on around the outside, let's just have a look inside on the cab. So, the cab area, it's a 2 litre Euro 6, 6 speed manual. Um, basically, we've got the um, electric windows, electric mirrors, um, we have the cruise control, media pack, so you can use your phone, radio, CD, air conditioning, and then we've got a hot and cold blown air for in the cab. And then we have a couple of, um, obviously, cigarette lighters. Does anybody use cigarette lighters anymore? Don't think they do for using your tom tom or something like that we also have a usb port and then just to cap it off we've got the reversing camera uh, where the mirror should be what i didn't show you as well in the cab we do have driver and passenger blinds and then also for the front screen we've got the slide across blinds as well so let's make our way around Right, so what have we got down here? Um, we've got the, the windows, nice looking windows. Well, the windows, aren't they? The tinted windows, that's what I meant to say. The tinted windows, they're not clear ones. It gives it a little bit of style, uh, matches it all up nice with the graphics. So it makes it a good looking van. So what we've got here, we've got a outside shower, ideal for the dogs or washing off the kids before they get in the van or even washing your feet off if you've been down the beach. And then just down behind the back wheel, we have our waste drain off and also the van has the fresh water drain off as well. Um, so that's all for this side, yep. Yeah, let's move around the other. So moving on to the back, fresh water fill up for filling up your fresh water tank. We have cassette toilet for emptying your cassette. Well, for emptying your toilet basically. And then at the back here, leisure battery. So we've got the leisure battery there, we've got the hook up there, and then we've got a 230 plug. Um, I don't know what you'd use the plug for at the back. Putting the tally outside or just putting the extension lead out for when you've got the awning out and you're using, using that area. But anyway, it's got a plug. Right, so if we take a look at the roof, what we have, we've got what, one, two, three skylights. We have the TV aerial, and then also this van's got a solar panel, so you can see the solar panel there. So that's perfect for while camping and just keeping the batteries charged. Right, I've already showed you around the passenger side. So what we do have just above, we've got the awning, good size awning there. And then I do like this, see this here? Little magnety thing um, that keeps the door. Over there. 
I do like simple things basically, but um, it's a gadget and it's all blokes like a gadget. So let's move inside, follow me. Right, so we've got the habitation door, fly screen, and then just by the hab door, we've got dead simple control panels. Um, on off, we've got the pump, awning light, and also interior lights, which will isolate all the lights if you want to go out. And then we have our levels for our water, um, leisure battery. And then just below that, we have the whale system for our heating and also for the hot water. So quite a simple operation um, and it'll work off the gas and electric. So now we're at the back. Look at this for a good size wardrobe, real good size. And then in the wardrobe, we've got a freestanding table. At the back, we've got the aerial booster and also the aerial, so a good size there. And just above me, we do have an extractor fan, basically. Um, do you know what? I used to follow tractors, Finn. I did, I collected tractors for ages and ages, you know. I yeah. did, yeah, I just stopped, mate, I just stopped. I did, honestly, I just stopped collecting them, yeah. I've become an extractor fan. <laughs> so yeah, we've got the extractor fan above. Moving on to the, do you like that one? <laughs> Moving on to the kitchen. What I do like here, look how, how that's integrated. Russell Hobbs microwave there. And then a couple of storage points above. And then we've got the, um, what are they called? Inset, inset lights, spotlights. spotlights there. Moving down to the kitchen area, hob, basically three burner hob, hot plate. And then we have the sink with the tap. Oh, yes, I thought we had. And then we've got another one that comes out, just gives that little bit of extra prep area. And then we've got one, two, three, four, five storage areas with the three-way fridge. Dead simple to use. Electric, leisure battery for me driving and the gas. That's how we ignite it. And then the temperature as well. Just this little dial here. When we're on the gas, that'll go up into the green so we know it's on. And then we do have a grill in an oven. And again, another storage point below. Fixed bed, we mentioned the fixed bed at the back. What is good as well, we do have, now you see me, now you don't. So it just does give that little bit of separation um, to the van, basically. Um, and then where are we now? Oh, I like that mirror there. Oh, I've just noticed as well, we do have a couple more USB points. They're in a good spot actually, also with another plug there. And then at the back, it is a combined shower. And I'll just show you, let's have a look at the size of it. I do like how that drops down. So let me just give you a proper idea. Can you see that there? And see that drops down. And that's all you really need. Um, for a sink in a, in a bathroom that size. You don't really need a big sink because it's just for a quick swill off. And then what we do have, more storage again at the back. And what we can do, we can turn this into a shower area, which really, ample size. Let's put that back there. Oh, I've done that one. There we go. And then, yeah. We are getting a decent sized toilet area. Read the paper. So combined, sh combined shower and toilet. So moving on the back, we've got the storage all round. This van does come with an Avtech tally as well. So that's ideal then. And we do have a skylight above with also um, the window. I'll just show you, they've all got blinds and fly screens. And yet again, I got them the wrong way round. And let's have a look underneath the bed. All your grubbings are under here. There, oh look, there's your outside shower in. Just over there, if you can just see, there's the water pump. See your filler there. That's just, that brings the water in and down into the um, fresh water tank. There's your battery box. There's the hookup coming into the van. These vents here are all for your blown air. And then what else do we have? Good, good storage area there. Um, on a winder and then just, I'll just show you down there, there's a little drawer, and there's your 230s, and also your 12 volts as well, all labelled up as well. So pretty much everything you need is underneath the bed, really, when it comes to your pump and um, your 230 and your trips and everything else. 
and then you've got a good storage area there as well as your storage area around so let's move to the front so we've got the bench seats these will pull out there we go and that'll make up the bed I'll just put these back remember when I was telling you about the uh, the extra two belted seats well he's one of them look at that perfect and there is another one on the other bench seat as well do you want me to show you how I managed to do it easy peasy let me show you so let's make a traveling seat up out of the bench seat so I need to take this off and I need to take this off and then we lift this up right the way up and we have two little clips there that drops that down and look what we have here we have a little seat so I'll just move around here so you can see and then we lift this up this lever then brings this all the way up and then this one takes that up and there we go there's our seat and then we've got the um, I'll show you around that side our seat belts there and then that's exactly the same for on the driver's side as well so now we've got the four belted seats so then just to put it away we flip that like so that drops down that goes back lift the two up bring down that like that and we're back to normal again right the Aldi signature this one's a 2019 on a 69 plate it's done just over 3,000 miles two litre euro six four berth four belted seats six speed manual low profile three and a half thousand kilograms 7.02 meters in length 2.82 height 2.7 including the mirrors width end layouts the bedroom the washroom spare alloy wheel underneath the rear of the van it's got solar tv aerial reversing camera awning awning light it's got cab air con blown air gas and electric water heaters gas and electric fresh water capacity is 90 liters wastewater capacity is 70 power steering cruise control central locking cd blinds fly screens freestyle on the table roof lines cassette toilet mixer taps combined shower wardrobe fixed bed fridge hob microwave oven grill there she starts so the aldi sort of quest then two bench seats nice looking van great option i think it's brilliant how you can then turn it into four belted seats and then what we've got at the back we have the fixed bed um, with the combined shower and then a nice looking kitchen area and which i do like the microwave how it's integrated um into the um what do you say the into the cupboards as well really nice now this the original model is the aldis auto quest 155 and they're brand new are roughly around about the 50,000 now the Aldi signature which is obviously a dealer special and um, they're coming in at round about 53,000 um, brand new now a van this age which is probably just a year and a half couple of years older are fetching probably round about the 48,000 to 50,000 mark so there you have it Aldi signature if you've enjoyed the video please subscribe to us hit the like button and uh, we'll go and find you another motorhome